Okay. So I wanted to make this video for you to explain something that I keep hearing people talk about everybody from my clients to people who aren't my clients yet. And so I want to make sure that I explain this and that you see it so that you don't have to think like this. Here's the thought. Here's the thought that I keep hearing. And it's, um, yeah, but I can't just do thoughts. You have to eventually do something. Action is what creates the results. Or something to the effect of, what am I gonna do? Just sit on the couch and think happy thoughts? Which always cracks me up, right? Because that's exactly not what I do at all. But let me show you what this looks like. So this is what people think mindset is, right? They think that I'm gonna work on my thoughts, this is you looking very contemplative. It was actually hard to like put a finger on a face and it not look totally strange. So this is you working on your thoughts. And sometimes what I see coaches do is that they stop taking action because they think a thought like, it's not about the action, it's about the thoughts. And then they have a separate segment where they're like, but I have to do something so what do I need to do? And then they make themselves a list, right? And often what comes up here is it's driven by, I need to post, I need to be consistent, um, action is what it's gonna take, eventually it's gonna work, but it's almost as those either two different things that are coming together. Like I'm doing all my thought work over here in this box and then I'm coming over here and I'm taking action, right? Because this is what creates a result. But this isn't how it works, right? This is why it's not about what am I going to do? Just sit on the couch and do nothing. I have to do something. This is, this isn't how it works, but this over here is. So let me show you. So often people are afraid that they're just going to spend all their time working on their thoughts and their feelings. But your thoughts and feelings are a part of the flow of human behavior. Because when you start with your thoughts and you, you and create like an intensity of feeling with the thought, right? Because I can think of thought like, I love my husband. Like, yeah, I love my husband. And then I can think about why I love my husband. And I can think about how he rubs my back at night to help me fall asleep. And I can think about how when the baby wakes up at night and she has bad dreams, he gets up with her. I can think about, like I can, I can visualize him playing with our babies. I can visualize how caring and nurturing he is. And then when I think the thought, I love my husband, I feel it in my body in a different way than just a surface level, I love my husband, right? That's the difference here when we look at the thoughts and the feelings. I don't want you to have surface level thoughts. I want you to make sure that you're infusing them with feeling, okay? And when you have this too, and you're pointing them and directing them, remembering your goal. I looked up here because I was like remembering, reminding, um, when you remember what the result is that you're creating and you focus your thoughts and feelings towards that result, you can't not take action. Literally, you can't not take action. It is, they're going to be feelings like compelled, driven, inspired. You're not trying to create those feelings, although you might also be. You're just, that's like, that's what you're focusing on as you think about the results you're creating, okay? So over here, it's almost like these are two separate activities, but really they're just a part of the flow of how you're gonna be working on your mind and how you're gonna be approaching the goal you're creating. Now, notice that these arrows go this way and they go this way, because sometimes what we have is we have a goal here, because we don't have it yet, right? Everything we don't have yet, it's put in the C line. It's just a goal. And that's why sometimes when you guys are like, oh my gosh, I didn't hit it. Everything's horrible. I'm horrible. This isn't working. And the reality is like, of course you didn't hit it yet. You haven't found the right combinations. 
And I don't say like, you haven't found them, like go search and find them. No, right. It's just this commitment to playing and trying and having fun and letting this be part of it. Nobody gets to know what combinations this takes before you know. (laughs) I know, isn't that sad? I have tons of thoughts that I can give you, but until your brain learns how to create them, until your brain learns how to like flex the muscle of asking the question, what do I have to remember to believe? And it learns the muscle of focusing on the goal you're creating, right? I can't just give you thoughts to think, although some of them I will be able to. But you're going to approach this from the top down, right? What's my goal? What are all my thoughts about the goal? How do I feel about the goal? What kind of actions am I taking towards the goal? What are the results I have currently in relation to the goal? Then you're going to just play with it because this is a game. And you're going to go the other direction. You're going to be like, okay, what's my desired result? One client this week, because it should always be one client this week or today. I love that. Um, Jen does that. She's like one client today, right? So if the result is one client today, this week, whatever, then you get to ask yourself, okay, cool. What do I want to do? Okay. I know it's with my thoughts. So I want to like, make sure I'm keeping that clean, but like, what other action do I want to take? Ooh, I want to make sure I get my body in the place of feeling possibility, feeling as though it's done, visualizing that client already here. Okay. And then from that place, like what are the actions I actually like to take? Oh, I love showing up and posting on social media. Fine, let's do it. Oh, you know what? I really love doing live trainings. Cool, let's do it. I love connecting with humans. Cool, go do it. Hey, it doesn't matter what you do in the A-line when you approach it from fun, when your brain, you like, you don't get stopped on the part where like, are my thoughts in the right place? No, they're going to be sometimes, they're not going to be other times. You like get caught in the part where like, can I feel it done? What do I want to try? What would just be super fun? Let's go try it. If I'm not going to get to know what's going to work in the A-line anyways, we might as well just try things. Might as well just do it because it's going to be fun. And then what combinations of thoughts and feelings do I need to have? Do I need to remember to believe in order to do the thing I want to do? Right? What do I need to be? And this is just your model. This doesn't even account for thinking about them and their model. That gets into good stuff too. But on this side, you're going to have two types of thinking. You're going to have cleaning up your thoughts. This is going to be like a thought download and running a model. I like that work, but it never creates results for me, right? It's just like a basic cleanup. It's like tidying your house and picking up little things. You're just doing it so you don't live in a pigsty and have hours of work to do. This right here isn't necessarily creating unless you're cleaning up thoughts that are like, oh, like, why don't I have the result that I want yet? Why didn't I sign a client this week? Hmm. And you start answering questions like that, but it's directed at certain things rather than just like cleaning up everything that comes through our brain. But the intentional thinking is what we do in our daily work. Okay. So everything I want you to take from this is keep remembering the results you're creating. This is the number one reason why people don't create their results. They forget to believe it's possible. They forget that the actions are all for the fun of it. They forget to fuel the action with thoughts and feelings and to direct it all at, what am I creating? Not from a place of like, like freaking out and desperation and rushed, but literally just from a place of fun. Because when you forget, that's when you go back over here. That's when you're like, okay, I got to do some thought work and hey, I got to go take some action. It doesn't work like that. Okay. It's good stuff. Let me know below if you have any questions.